Hello again, welcome. In this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at uh, doing a few more calculations, user input and things like that. Uh, we're going to look at the importance of BEDMIS, which you use in math, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Uh, we're also going to look at something called decision structures. Uh, basically you can make a program that makes a decision. So we're going to use a statement where like if this is true and this is true, then do this, but if something else is true, do this, and if something else is true, do this. So that every time you run your program based on the input, it's going to do a few different things. So this program is going to ask someone for their mark in grade 9 math and also their mark in grade 10 math. It's going to figure out an average and output the average, and it's also going to output like a letter grade, like whether the average was an A, a KD or above, or a B, or a C, or a D. Uh, or whatever. So let me just put in some of the code here. That was very quick. I didn't type that, obviously. Just pasted that in. What mark did you receive in grade 9 math? Uh, and then it receives the mark and stores it in this variable. What mark did you receive in grade 10 math? Receives that mark and stores it in the variable. Now, if you would like um, to not drop down a line after you ask the question, get rid of the print line here. Just put print, and it actually won't drop down a line, and it's kind of a neat trick. Also, if you want to leave a little bit of white space on the screen, you can just use one of, uh, just S-O-U-T tab, and then don't fill anything in here. So this will say, what mark did you receive in grade 9 math? What mark did you receive in grade 10 math? Then let's calculate the average. So we'll go uh, grade 9 math plus grade 10 math divided by 2, and that's going to calculate our average. Problem. So you did you took math class. You know you've heard about BEDMIS, brackets, exponent, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. It is important. So stuff you learn in math is super important, especially in computer programming. So this is going to take the grade 10 math mark, divide it by 2, and then add it to the grade 9 math. That's not good. So what we're going to do is put this in brackets. That's really important. So now we're going to add the two math marks uh, together. Then we're going to divide them by 2. That makes a big difference. And then we're going to say... Uh, your average was, or your average uh, mark was, put a colon there, plus, and then, EG. I was going to say your average mark was that. Now what I'd like to do is to output a letter grade. So if their grade was 80 to 100, I want to say they got an A. So that's called a decision structure, and in Java this is how we do it. We say, first of all, if your average was greater than or equal to 80, but also, so this is an and, your average was less than or equal to 100, then what I want you to do is whatever I put within these two, uh, we're going to sometimes call them squiggly brackets, but that's not too professional. Let's call them braces. So whatever happens uh, if the mark's greater than or equal to 80, but also less than or equal to 100, then we are going to output your average that's not how you spell average. Your average is a letter grade of A. That's going to make them feel wonderful. So let me just do this for some of the formatting issues. So that's cool. But then we also have a lot of other options. So the way we write that in Java is we'll say else if your average is greater than or equal to 70 and your average is less than or equal uh, now, if we do less than or equal to 80, we're going to run into a problem. If we do less than or equal to 79.9, they might get 79.99 or something like that. So I'm going to leave it at less than 80. So this is where some logical thinking comes in, and you have to really figure out uh, how your program is going to work. So that's computer programming is a lot of syntax. That means like, uh, how do I declare things? What words do I use? System out dot print line. That's all syntax. But a big chunk of it is problem solving as well and thinking about logical problems like that. If I had put less than or equal to 80, then we'd have two positions where there could be a mark of 80. And it wouldn't know what to do. So we put less than 80, and then I should get it. So I'll go, actually, I'll be a little quicker here. We'll take this line of code right here, and we'll copy it right here. Your average is a letter grade of B. And I'm not going to make you watch me type the rest of them. Hold on just one second. I'll put them in. There we go. So I just put that in real quick. Don't want you to have to watch me do all that. But um, here's the situation. If it's bigger than 70 but less than 80, we'll give them a B. If it's bigger than 60 but less than 70, we'll give them a C. If it's bigger than 50 but less than 60, we'll give them a D. And finally, if it's anything else, so we can write else. So if it's basically if it's less than 50, we are going to write something, make them feel a little bit better about themselves here. 
sorry. You failed. But summer school is actually a lot of fun. Because it is. Summer school is fun. So this is going to catch anything else. So if it's uh, not bigger than 50 or bigger than or equal to 50, then it's going to catch it and say, sorry, you failed. And that's basically an if statement. If, else if, else if, else if, and then else catches everything else. So let's try running this program. So I'll click run. Well, Mark, did you receive in grade 9 math? Uh, let's say I got a 77.5. Well, Mark, did you receive in grade 10 math? You notice it stays on the same line because we got rid of the LN in print line. Uh, grade 10 was a little harder. Let's say I had in 76.6. Your mark average, or your average mark was 77.05, and your average is a letter grade of B. So it grabbed it perfectly. If you want to run more, run it a few times because you want to do all test cases. So you want to run it with all sorts of different cases. Uh, let's say I didn't do too well, 45 and a half, and then I got a 51. Your average mark was 48.3. Sorry you failed, but summer school is actually a lot of fun. So that caught the else statement right in here. So it calculated the two averages and then uh, outputted the letter grade. That's decision structures. Uh, that's outputting it on the same line or grabbing input from the same line. So there's a lot going on uh, in that program.